to remember that these two men were doing their job at 4 o'clock in the afternoon when they were killed. Breaking right now at 5, new details in the crash that killed a police officer and a utility worker as the suspect prepares to face a judge today. A Brown University student left paralyzed after a shooting in Vermont is now out of the hospital, the next step in his recovery. Republicans squaring off in their final debate as the former president and frontrunner Donald Trump sits out once again. Boston's leaders taking a stand against moving one of the city's exam schools. Now, live on WBZ-TV and streaming on CBS News Boston, this is WBZ News Mornings. Good morning, everybody. 5 a.m. on your Thursday, December 7th. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Leah Martin. Happy Thursday, everybody. Let's get over to Alyssa Andrews with a check of your next weather forecast. And yesterday was the snow, Alyssa. Today is the cold. It is frigid. Yes, and we've just got a couple more days of this very, very chilly weather before we see a nice warm-up as we head to the weekend. But today, it is going to certainly be very chilly outside. Make sure you have all the layers layer up because you have to be outside in extended periods of times. It's going to uh, really make a difference there to have something. Now at 530, WBZ News Mornings continues. Breaking news on the crash that killed a Waltham police officer and a National Grid worker. What we're learning about the victims and the suspect this morning. And the push to legalize psychedelic mushrooms in Massachusetts. Voters could have their say. Plus, good news for commuters. The latest subway line losing some speed restrictions. That's good news. We all need that. Welcome back, everybody. It is Thursday, December 7th. And it's not snowing right now, which is good news, unlike That's yesterday. Good. So it's good news on the roads. I'm having a much calmer morning. It's That's, love it. really That's, nice. Like Calmer but cooler, Alyssa. <laughs> it's yes, still certainly. pretty wintry out there. Very chilly outside. You want to bundle up, layer up. It's going to be so important to have those layers as you head out the door this morning. Our temperatures might be saying 22 degrees, but wait till you see the wind chills across the area right now. Winds are at nine miles per hour with clear skies, so it's certainly going to feel a lot colder. Take a look at these numbers right